under the provisions, would it be possible that an American citizen then could be declared an enemy combatant and sent to Guantanamo Bay and detained indefinitely? They said it couldn't happen here. The administration asked us to remove the language which says that U.S. citizens and lawful residents would not be subject to this section. There would never be troops on the streets of America. There would always be due process. And when they say, I want my lawyer, you tell them, shut up. Your time is expired. Get a lawyer. You're an enemy combatant. It was the conspiracy theorists that warned that there was a plan to overthrow our republic and use the military against the people, that FEMA camps had been built, that citizens could be secretly arrested and disappeared. I want that person to be terrified about what's going to happen to them in American custody. And now NDAA 2012 is law. It did happen here. Please know what will come your way. Death, detention, prosecution. It's illegitimate. It's a fraud. It's tyranny in your face. The only question is, will the people of the United States let this tyranny now be put into action? It's one thing to pass an unconstitutional law. It's another thing to actually implement it. The globalists have bitten off more than they can chew. The Republic is rising, and the spirit of 1776 flies proudly on our banners. It's time for everybody out there watching to have a gut check and to decide what side are you on. Do you stand with our constitutional republic? Or do you stand with the corrupt politicians that have been bought and sold a hundred times by offshore megabanks that are conquering this country through fraud? The reason the National Defense Authorization Act was rammed through Congress and the reason President Obama treacherously and traitorously signed it is because the power structure, the ruling class is scared of the people. They know that we're waking up to the private Federal Reserve banking cartel. They know that we're waking up to secret arrest and torture. They know that we know that offshore banks have taken over this country through fraud and signed us on to over a thousand trillion dollars of fraudulent garbage derivatives paper. They know the Ponzi scheme is coming down. And so they ram through the NDAA. And Obama said that he was gonna veto it so that he wouldn't take the political pressure. Then he signed it in the final hours of 2011 when he thought everybody wasn't paying attention and was partying on New Year's Eve. And he did that because crimes are committed in the dark. They don't want their open tyranny to be a wake-up call to people. They want to silently have our republic go into that long night. They wanna stab this country in the back when nobody's watching. There's a problem, I'm watching, Ron Paul's watching, you're watching, and we're involved. And like Paul Revere before us, we are warning people worldwide. Just look at the NDAA and its passage, all the lies. Oh, at first it didn't affect citizens, now they admit it does. A global declaration of war against all countries. Congress handing that power to the president, making him a dictator. Secret arrest of citizens, torture, indefinite detention. Then the senators came out who authored it and said, you bet it affects citizens. We want you to be scared. And they went further and said, don't criticize us. Obama demanded this be in the legislation. The ACLU and others went to Obama and said, did you really do this? And they said, yes. That's how bad this deception has gotten, where they want to have their tyrannical cake and eat it too. But why are they hiding the fact that it affects citizens? Why are they hiding the fact that Obama signed it because they want to do their crimes secretly, because they know what they're doing is wrong. And they want to now implement this draconian classical tyranny behind the scenes ahead of the next staged event, the next false flag, the next big war. They want to roll this out with test cases, with unsavory types of people like Anwar al-Awlaki, a U.S. citizen they claim that they killed extrajudicially so that they can sell the public on the idea of people disappearing into black holes. That's why it's so important now more than ever to get the truth about this Defense Authorization Act to everyone you know. In my 17 years on air, 
I have never seen an issue shake people out of their sleep, out of their social trance like this has done. The apologies via email and comments on our websites are coming in by the thousands. Radio talk show hosts are apologizing. Congressional aides are calling me and apologizing because everything that we warned the public about is now unfolding. Not just the establishment of military operations domestically. Not just secret arrest and torture, not just new wars, but the warrantless wiretapping, the, the TSA checkpoints on the highways, it's all happening. And the system wouldn't have rammed this legislation through and exposed their despotic game plan if they weren't accelerating their timetable. War with Iran, economic collapse by design, it's all coming. But at this critical juncture, when the globalists are uncloaking themselves, they are extremely weak because now they are naked in front of us. They are brazenly there proving to everyone that they are criminals. It is treason to overthrow the Constitution and Bill of Rights. They passed legislation before saying black people weren't humans. They could pass legislation uh, saying that uh, white people are slaves or something. It doesn't make it so. All laws that are repugnant and unconstitutional are null and void. Marbury versus Madison and thousands of other rulings. Tyrants take over by degree. And the system is simply testing the public now to see if they can get away with this legislation first and then to see piecemeal if they can get away with it incrementally. They're not gonna come snatch you out of your house overnight. They're not gonna activate the now public FEMA camps overnight. They're going to sell it as something that they're rolling out to save and safeguard society. They're going to script every facet of it. And that's why we've gotta be there at every point, confronting them, pointing out their fraud, pointing out the true history, and decrying what they're doing, just like our ancestors, Paul Revere, and our founding fathers did. So I am upset that they did pass the NDAA. It shows what tyrants and just how corrupt and ruthless they are. Can you imagine what's coming next? You notice things just get crazier and crazier now. I'm upset about that, but there's a silver lining in every cloud. This is waking people up and has really thrown the gauntlet down in everyone's face. It's time to make a decision. It's time to get involved. It's time to warn everyone you know. It's time to realize we've got a two-party dictatorship engaged in insider trading and every other form of corruption you can imagine who think that they're going to be able to not only continue this corruption, but expand it. That's the thing about corrupt governments. They get more corrupt or you bring them to justice. They get more emboldened. And then when they've gone so far that the public wakes up, they always try to come in and clamp down on the public. And they've always got excuses, foreign enemies, domestic terrorists. It's happened over and over again. Incredible despotism has come to every nation in history. And now it's coming here. We know history. And so if we educate others and stand tall, we are not doomed to repeat it. So let's take this information with the NDAA and all the lies associated with it and use it as a teaching moment. And not just a moment of instruction, but a moment of awakening. It's now time for those of you out there that grovel to the establishment and go along with whatever the system does and make excuses for it to realize you are not part of the power structure. You haven't chosen to join the new world order and so you're on the winning team. Less than one-tenth of one percent from our research is actually part of this new world order system and stands to gain from it. That's what even Rothkop, head of the Kissinger Group, wrote a few years ago in his book, Superclass, Admitting a Global Government Run by 6,000 Top Technocrats. You're not one of the technocrats that The Economist magazine pushes and promotes as our saviors, who are actually the authors and engineers of all of our problems. You are going to have your standard of living lowered. You're going to have your freedoms lowered. And just because you've served the system doesn't mean that you won't be devoured by it. The good news is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. There is a giant 
awakening happening. And now is the time. People's minds are fertile to hear the truth. They have never been more open to be given the true information about history and about the new world order and about what's happening. So I'm begging all of you to be the leaders you are and to reach out to everyone you can with banner hangs, local newsletters, talk radio shows, calling into talk radio, going and speaking at your city council, running for Congress, running for mayor, running for sheriff, because resistance is victory. We've got to intensify the buzz that we see around Ron Paul and Liberty to every issue and every area. And all of us need to be like Ron Paul. All of us need to be like other patriots that have come before us. It's just like in the movie Spartacus, which is based on a true story of slave revolt in Southern Italy against the nation state of Rome. And they're looking for Spartacus, or they're looking for his body, they're trying to find him. And the slaves that they've captured start standing up and saying, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. It's Victor Hugo that said, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. They can't stop us all. And one cautionary note to enforcers of this system, military, police, and others that are being asked to engage in classical oppression of the American people. You're gonna be given plausible cover stories for doing what you're gonna be asked to do in the future. But remember, all of this was set up in the past 16 years or so. All of this was being covertly planned. The derivatives, the banking takeover, all of this has been planned out. But because we have been aware of it, we've got a serious jump on the globalist right now. Because we were there for decades warning people ahead of time, now we have a lot of credibility. And I wanna warn the power structure that this is not gonna be a cakewalk. The London Telegraph, the Associated Press, they're all reporting that in the month of December, more than 1.5 million FBI instant background checks were done and on average, people were buying two guns or more. We're talking about three million guns sold in the month of December, an all time record. And the purchasing of guns is only accelerating. I saw surveys where the public was asked why they're buying guns, and the majority said because of economic collapse, because of social unrest, and we don't trust the government. The system's iron fist is not going to work against an armed population that understands the score. And so I want to challenge the global controllers to rethink what they're doing and to look at history and to pull back and to realize that you are not in a good position. Even if you stage some big false flag terror attacks, the people are awakened to you and are now aware of what you're doing. And the American people, if you do launch this civil war operation in the U.S., are going to ensure that the controllers, not the low-level minions, are brought to justice. We need to be reaching out to police and military now and asking them to make the choice to join the Republic and the spirit of 1776 to peacefully bring back our country and to bring these criminals to justice. We do not need to be played off against each other. This is part of the globalist plan and needs to be averted. Tyranny is here. It's up to you to face it and to take action against it through peaceful ways. Let us work now while the sun still shines so that if we do go into that dark night of true hardcore tyranny, we would have done everything we could beforehand to avert what's coming. But I know from history, Many times tyrannies are diffused if the public is warned by patriots. And we've got a good chance of doing that right now. I'm Alex Jones, signing off from the front lines of the Info War. The websites are infowars.com and prisonplanet.tv. Please tell your friends and family to tune into the radio show every weekday from 11 to 2 Central. The free audio streams are at infowars.com, where we break down this information in more detail.